I mean, they may say they're from England or from a certain part of America or whatever, or Australia even. There are people like Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea, look, no, Iggy Azalea basically looks like a, they're trying to pass Iggy Azalea off as this white girl from Australia. Of course, I always knew that was hogwash even before I knew that celebrities would come from ancient black Egyptians. They said, well, Egyptians can't be black. Yes, see, there they go, there they go again saying it's a sin to be black. But they were okay, basically. They were, and God hated the Egyptians and the Philistines and the other, you know, pagan civilizations that existed during that time. But he loved his Hebrew Israelite people. And but they turn him down, so that's why we got punished. That's why we still being we still going through it to to this very day and stuff because we rejected God. But anyways, they passed Iggy Azalea. Of course, I knew this was a bunch of nonsense. They made Iggy Azalea this white girl uh, that's from Australia. Our Australian accent, by the way, is weak. It's not even a good Aussie accent. And you, uh, uh, those of you that are from Australia that listen to me, y'all should be en enraged about not just Iggy Azalea but the other so-called Australian celebrities, because that's a mockery to all of y'all. I'm talking about those of you all, you Aussies that are real, they're real people. And I'm talking about the clones, so they don't count. But those of y'all that are real people and stuff, y'all should be insulted because they make Iggy sound like they got Iggy being a being a white a white girl from Australia, but Iggy is actually a black man. You can look at Iggy and tell that Iggy is black. It's a black person. Just it just a black person that had the hair straightened. Uh, uh, and the skin bleached base and the nose thinned out and that was it. They just left everything else. I mean, if you look at Iggy closely, dark in his skin and stuff and, you know, give it short kinky hair, I mean, you got you a black man, okay? You got you a black man. That's why Iggy is. They even mock. And it's also a mockery to the white race too. And a lot of y'all accusing these celebrities of, and I'm not, I'm not for what they doing, don't misunderstand, because I know it's the fallen ones that are mocking the black race, because when it involves us in the media and stuff, they're going to try to make us look bad, they're going to make us look bad in one way or another, I mean, they're trying, because they hate us, you know, the angels and stuff, and I, I have to explain later why I feel they were black also, these, these demons were black, but well, now they, they, they're these pale, sickly creatures and stuff, going around trying to destroy the human race, and they're actually jealous of the black race. They always have been, and they always will be. And so they're gonna mark us every chance they get. So why they deal with Iggy Azalea is back to what I was saying. Get to the point. They depicted it as this white Australian girl that sounds like a black woman here in America. If uh, Iggy was not, it's not a real person, and never have been a real person. It's just an Illuminati creation, pretty much to mock the black race. I never liked this individual's music. I mean, I can't stand listening to it. I mean, the voice is annoying and stuff. They got a uh, cigar so Australian white girl sound like a ghetto black. I'm gonna just say a uh, uh, black uh, woman here in America. So if any of y'all out there, if you listen to this individual, if you got and you listen to this mess, and you listen you to this individual and you like this individual's music. I mean, for God's sake, sake, shut it off. Uh, throw the music out, tear the posters off the wall, throw away them any magazines, dedicate just. Or if you're not willing to, then all I got to say to you is that something's wrong with you. You just, you're insane. I mean, matter, regardless of what race you are, don't. I just told you the deal, so just don't even, just forget this individual existed because it's not real. It's just a character created by the Illuminati. It's also got animal DNA in it. And you Aborigines, too. I'm talking to y'all, too. It passes individuals being part Aborigine. And that's not the case, either, because, like I said, it's not a real person. Okay, it's very plastic looking. It's obviously a robot. It's not just a clone, because a regular clone looks very much human, but like a real person would. So, a lot of times, you won't be able to tell the difference unless God told, spoke to you and, and, and told you that person was soulless. But anyway, in a clone. But anyway, this individual's not just a clone. It's a robot toy. So, just throw them records out and all that kind of stuff and don't go to his concerts or buy his merchandise because it's just annoying. Iggy Azalea is, I always thought Iggy Azalea is annoying. And Azalea Banks, they all tell you something. Azalea Banks who's black and stuff and they got, you know, they got similar names. But so, that, that all tell you everything you need to know about what color Azalea, Iggy Azalea really is.